we've been coming from. There was rounds that went both ways, right? So the judges, the different judges scored them in different directions. Okay, so if you take a round like that, then it's razor thin, and if you ask 100 people, it would be 50-50, whatever. Um, then, if that's 50-50, then there's a round like, say, the Nunez, uh, Nunez fight, where if you ask who won this round, it would be 100 people would say Nunez, 0% would say G GDR. And so the problem, the inherent problem there is that both of those things score 10-9, both of them scored 10 9, although they're very different things. So, both of those rounds are scored as a 10 9, but they're not the same thing. And so, when, when we are giving things value, which don't have the same value, therein lies the problem. Now, how that compounds itself, it compounds itself in the essence that. The, the guys don't know the score, so they're they're guessing what the scores are. So I think, I think open scoring would help. It wouldn't be the end all be all. I think it would help because then guys would understand what the score is and they would fight accordingly. So the problem happens when guys think the score is something and they fight according to what they think the score is, but that's not really the score. And enough guys should know that hey, we can't really chart the judges, but right, it is what it is. That's what they do. So when they think, but if they knew, hey dude, I'm down 3-1, I literally have to finish him with a 10-8, 10-8 for a draw, finish him to win, otherwise I'm going to lose, I think we would see something, or right going in the third round, if it's 2-0, um, they know in the third round, I'd be a 10-8 or I'd finish him, otherwise I'm losing this fight. And so, the, the fact that rounds, which are completely different, have the same value, is one issue. The fact that um, this compounds itself by guys... Uh, people thinking the wrong score in their head or assuming the wrong score and then fighting according to what they assume rather than what is actually on the scorecards, I think that is really harmful also. So I think it's really easy to say the 10-9 system, 10-9 must system is flawed. It needs to be changed. But I don't think there's anyone who is going to change it because, again, the state athletic commissions have to admit they're wrong and the governing bodies would have to and the, the emotional bodies would have to go out on a significant limb to do so. So I don't think, we're, although we are annoyed by it, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm out. Peace. The best year the company's ever had. 19 was our best year. We broke pretty much every record we had. And uh, I love the lineup that we have going into 2020. We have some fun fights. And if things play out certain ways, you know, we're going to end up having five or six massive, massive fights. I mean, we're doing, what are we doing, 12 pay-per-views? And five or six of these are going to be huge. I like breaking records. It's fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to 2020. I'm not looking forward to being a year older, but I'm looking forward to 2020. I'm looking forward to 2020.